Pieces of Queensland history now up for sale, giving people the chance to drink, dress and even type like controversial Premier Joe Bjorka-Peterson. Everybody loves a story amongst their home or in their office and uh, so to have Sir Joe's desk in your office or at your home and to be able to bring people through and explain the history uh, would be fairly cool. More than 700 items from Sir Joe and Lady Flo's estate have been put up for auction. The colourful couple was popular among Queenslanders in the late 1900s when Sir Joe held office for 19 years before a corruption scandal ended his career. Goodbye and God bless. The collection includes an Archibald portrait, gifted silverware from the Queen and even Sir Joe's personal diary. But its contents are far from secret. Left Canberra at 6.40am, hard to get up. Lady Flo's baking ware is proving the most popular among bidders. These tins surprised auctioneers, attracting more than $300. One buyer even had a personal connection to her famous pumpkin scone recipe. When I was in the army last century, we exercised up on Bethany, his farm up at Kingaroy, and Lady Flo came out and gave us some pumpkin scones. You might remember this Jaguar from Sir Joe's time in office. It was used as a staff car in the early 1980s. And even though it doesn't run anymore, it could be a valuable investment project for one lucky bidder. But it isn't all fancy cars and expensive artwork. With some items going for as low as $1, there's something for everyone, including interstate buyers with no interest in the couple's history at all. Not because of the family or anything, because I'm actually from Sydney, but um, I'm just really interested in the actual pieces as such. When the auction closes tonight, items that once had a place in one of Queensland's most famous homes will live on to tell the stories of Sir Joe and Lady Flo. Jessica Rendell, ABC News.